Uh, let me start today's lessons. Uh, did you remember doing? And these are the very simple questions. Okay, if you know the basic formula of determinant, we can do it easily this one. Uh, evaluate the following determinant. Now first, I will show you the formula. Uh, start the last question. So we we'll learn the formula. Now last question only. We we'll learn the formula. Now again, I am going to write the formula. A, B, C, D. Now formula is very simple. Uh, a multiplied d then minus c a multiplied d then minus c multiplied d. This is a, a basic formula for order to determine it to get expand. Okay, or to evaluate. Now same question will used same formula will used to evaluate this one. And this is a very simple now. A minus three multiply six then minus five multiply one. And this is minus 18 minus 5 and minus 23. It's very easy. Okay, because that means we need this simple formula to evaluate this determinant. And same formula we use to evaluate this one. Look at here. Uh, cos theta multiply cos theta. Okay, we write cos theta multiply cos theta then minus sin theta multiply minus sin theta this minus from formula this minus from with values okay <coughs> now this is cos square theta minus minus plus sin square theta and this equals to cos square theta plus sin square theta we know the formula then what is the formula of this one yes one yes now, same way we will do this one by using the same simple formula. Now we are going to evaluate this one. Now, look at here. Cos 15 multiply cos 75. Let me write the uh, bigger angle first. Cos 75 degree cos 15 degree then minus sin 75 degree sin 15 degree. Now for this we have a formula uh, cos A cos B minus sin A sin B the formula is cos A plus B. Okay. Now we use this formula to simplify these equations. That means cos in place of A how much we have? 75 plus 15 degree. And this is cos 90 degree and cos 90 degree value is 0. Okay, this is a very very easy. Okay, this order to determine is very easy to get its expanding. Now, let's do the one more question. <coughs> now, one more question now. Uh, x minus 2 minus 3, 3x, 2x equals to 3. Find the integral value of x. So, it's nice to find the integral value of x, not decimal value. Integral value. Okay. Now, we use the same formula here. Uh, same formula. Let me copy the question first. x minus 2 minus 3, 3x, 2x, determine close 3. Now, according to this formula, this multiply is now x minus 2 multiply 2x then minus 3x multiply minus 3 equals to 3. Now we are using the same formula to evaluate the order of two determinants. Everywhere we are using the same formula. Or uh, this is 2x square minus 4x minus minus plus 9x now take this towards the uh, left minus 3 equals to 0 or 2x square plus 5x minus 3 equals to 0 now factorize it by middle term splitting method uh, 2 3 is a 6 is there uh, 2x square you know how to get the factorization plus uh, 3x plus 2x minus 3. That means this is the middle term splitting. You can split like the 6x minus 1x minus 3 equals to 0. 
Then take the common from this group of two. Now two x is common. Then x plus three is left. Then minus one is common. X plus three equals to zero. Now x plus three. Then what is left from here? Two x minus one equals to zero. I am not explaining much because we already done all these things in the lower classes. Now do the other one. Either x plus three equals to zero or two uh, x minus one equals to zero. Then x is equals to minus three. Then two x is equals to one here. Then x is equals to one. Now this is not an integer. We should answer like the integral value. That means the correct value of x is minus three. Therefore, x is equals to minus. This way, uh, this way we have to evaluate the order to determinants. Okay, and uh, these are like a simple example. After going through this video, please I am requesting you all, please try to solve all the questions from textbook. If you have some problem, please comment.